What is going on guys, this is Game of Talks and we're going to play a bit of City Skyline. So it, it's been a long time actually since I've done anything, but um, that's, ah no I didn't mean to click that, right, um, yeah, that, I blame university, third year is a drag and you have no time to yourself and everything, but it's all finished now. I have no more exams until next year because I was stupid enough to do a master's. Yeah. So, I thought I'd kick it off with um, some city skyline. Create my own little city and... Yeah. I don't think I actually did this properly. Um, okay, so there's like two rivers. Uh, it's a long time since I played this. So we've got a city called Lake Valley, which we'll call Game uh, Capital. And we have zero people at the minute. At least we're not losing money. Okay, so this wants us to build roads, which we don't really have many open to us, so I guess we have to use this one. Um, where do we want to build? We kind of want to check what direction the water's flowing. If the water's flowing that way. We can put our... I don't know. We put the um, sewage here and the water treatment here. Something like that. But I guess we have to build some roads, so. How about something like. here, down here? And yes, that opens up some new roads. Great. Um. Put this in and bulldoze this. Get a new road in one way. So we'll go clink there and that to here. Like that. Amazing. Okay, so crucial one is what is going there let's go in there and we need power how about we go like this and okay, so get another road up here, and we have much need for residential. So, how about that? can turn some of this here into residential or even better some of this into residential because it's easier for us to get um, power to it now I don't have many of the mods installed for this game so Gotta just kind of wing it. But I'm sure it's fine. Right, so I hope. Yeah, we got our first couple of people moving in. We go see our visitors coming in. 
And this should be coming down this road here. So, yeah, perhaps I should explain. The whole point of city skylines is you... Oh, we got a purse? Is that a person? No. You build a city that stretches the skyline. Surprise, surprise. Oh, we need water pipes. Duh. Okay. It's here. And then here. And up the road. I think that works. We should all have water and power now. Let's see. So we're producing eight megawatts. Mm, yeah. So that's all going fine at the minute. So we have an economy tab. We can change how much we spend on water and energy. And later on, we can set taxes and get loans and put our city in loads of debt. Okay, so. Demand for residential is going down considerably. We have a little bit of a storm. So we're currently a little hamlet and we need to get to 400 population and then we can get medical clinics, elementary schools and all that jazz. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. I forgot to put a timer on for recording sessions, so... Oh... No. Should give it 20 minutes, something like that. Oh, that bridge looks cool. And this rain is just disgusting. Okay, so what I'm thinking is every couple of bits here so that's four like this we make connections and then later on when we have emergency services and stuff it'll be easier for them to get across yeah future planning Like, no one wants to live here because this is a sewage plant, so... That's cool. So we'll get some low density... I think this is the economy. Commercial. Yeah. That's what I meant. So... Put a load down here. And... We'll turn this into construction for now. I kind of want to turn this area here into construction for, like, later on. But we can't really afford to expand that much. I feel like this game has been updated a bit since I last played. I don't know if it's just me. But we've got very high demand now for industry. So we have 150 people currently living here, and we're losing a lot of money. Maybe we need more residential. Get more money and taxes and such. Okay, this place has no power. So we can go... That. And... This, and then hopefully someone will build here. Yes. 
and now it's all connected. So our little town is taking shape. Admittedly, it's not where I want it to, but it's not too bad. So let's check. Producing eight power and only using two. Water. We're only doing four thousand. We can do one hundred and twenty. Cool. But look at these. Ugh. Spewing coal and everything into the atmosphere. <coughs> so, I think we can drop our water down to about 80%. So that should save us some money. So we've still got high demand for industry. It's slowly dropping, so I think we'll be okay. We've got more demand for residential, but I've got loads up for it. So we can accelerate time a little bit. Check on our finances. Okay, so expenses. So we're making a total of eight hundred at uh, nine hundred pounds a thousand but we're only spending eight hundred so we're finally starting to make a profit a little house and people are starting to live here yay it worked like last time I played this it just fell apart so I don't know what's this do Look at the wind speeds. Oh, I guess that's so you know where to put your turbines. We can look at traffic. Yeah, you'd assume that's fine. There's a bit of unhappiness here. But that's because we probably need a park or something. So we can now invest in a landfill site which we kind of want out the way over here, perhaps. So, does it all get if we put it here? So we've got a landfill now. Uh, what's the problem with power? We're only producing four, but we need eight. Okay. Build another wind turbine. Producing nine. How much is a okay? How about we build a coal fire power station? So if we put this over here and then we grab some of these to here and then connect it boom so that's our power sorted tons of energy now and the most important thing this is n now has power so we can place down here and get rid of this now we don't want it oh need water it's going to be crucial and that allows us to uh, build residential along here um, there we go 
So we have plenty of water, we have plenty of electricity. Like, why is this building still here? There we go. <laughs> so, there we go. The businesses have relocated to the other side of town. We have a lovely coal fired power station. One garbage truck. And next important thing is we can get a school up and running. If we have it on the corner. That affects everyone. But we can't afford a medical clinic. So people are going to start getting ill quite quickly. Why can't someone move in here? If you can't move where there's electricity, you don't deserve electricity, son. So, meh. Should have just moved here. No sympathy. Ooh, my expenses have suddenly increased. And my income hasn't. Let's accelerate time a little bit. See if we start getting more people coming through. We're going to have to make a change. So, um, if we drop electricity down to 80, because we don't need it at full, that should save us a bit of money. <laughs> Fingers crossed we'll be back in the green. Just. Right, we need more industry. So we'll get some of that and whack it up. So we can have that. So let's see, we need more residential. Um, this. Don't really have the money. And it's been updated a bit since I last played. There wasn't all these grid lines <laughs> and stuff. So I want to leave a two gap. Something like here. Yeah, I think that's about right. Yeah. That works. Looking nice. Oh, come on. Give us a bit of money. Sorry, but we need to um, cut this road off. getting 500 a week well so we need more population we need more money okay, so. we're now a worthy village already 
that's quite cool. Get the water going. <coughs> it's quite a quick game to get up the first couple of stages. But there we go. Okay, so we have a thriving economy. We have like 19 grand now. Which is loads of money. And I think we will call it an end there. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.